Hello, it's Simone and today I have a little project share for you. Um, I'm up on the Coco Daisy blog today sharing this pocket letter. So I have a lot of leftovers from my January memory keeping kits and also bits and pieces of the packaging and items from the uh, February kit that I included and I just wanted to show you how I did it and talk a little bit about it because it's just easier to share on a video. So this is the envelope for the pocket letter that I created. Um, I didn't glue it because I wanted to share how I made it. So I just used a rectangular sheet of packaging. It's from this bag here. This is the new packaging the main kit is wrapped in and I just cut off one side and then I placed my pocket letter right in the middle and then I folded all the sides in leaving room because it's quite chunky and then um, once I was done with that I traced a rectangle around here and um, let the lines run out all over the page. Then I cut out rectangles, the parts I didn't need. And then I just started folding the paper as I wanted to have it. So I decided this was going to be my inside part and I left it like this in the beginning. Then I folded over this and that, and then I had rectangular pieces but I didn't really like that and I thought well maybe if I took out triangles it would look much nicer and so that's exactly what I did I drew a pencil line cut it out um, I started to create this triangle up here and then I decided well if I did this up here maybe I can do it down here as well so I created another triangle down here making this look nice. And then since this was still all the way up to here, rectangular, I decided to add in piece, this piece like that, which makes it easier to fold. And then I just traced this triangle here and cut it out. And this is what is left. Now, the envelope is still not finished. I had still this piece left. I just flipped it over and marked the exact same distance from the sides and cut out this triangle. Now I have an envelope that will hold my pocket letter, which is this thing. And I will just use glue and glue it together. Well, not this way, put this up first. And then this side so that the Coco Daisy doesn't show. And this side and then I will glue it like this. And once it's dry I can remove the pocket letter, write my letter and then I will just add packing tape, tape to stabilize the paper while it's traveling. So that's the envelope. Let me show you the pocket letter. I was greatly inspired by Moon Hulsman, I think she is a from the Netherlands, Travels Notebook person and I saw this on her Instagram feed and I really loved it and so I tried not to copy her but to create something different but still the same. So she used some kind of packaging and I don't really know how it, how it worked. It had pockets and she sewed it and that's what uh, I took from her. Uh, I will link her Instagram and the specific pocket letter that I'm talking about in the description box below so you can check it out. And then I just use, this is packaging the brown bag here, the brown paper is packaging from a Coco Daisy kit that came previously, like last month or the months before. It was in a brown paper bag so I still had this laying around. And I just folded my paper like a, what do you call this in English? Har we call it a harmonica, so harmonica style. And 
um, used these cut things that I wanted to include as markers so that it would stick out on the top. And so I folded it here, then I went back and created this pocket. So I created one pocket and then I went back down, created the back pocket by folding this up and then I folded the whole thing back over again to have a sta stable pocket. And then I painted this with acrylic paint. Um, these are two different shades of mint. I just took a paintbrush and painted it on. And then I used this, this is a vellum sheet of paper from the, uh, that came in the classified kit in uh, the January kit and just ripped it and glued it on. I had some open spaces right here and here. I used the stamp set from the classified kit for February and created some embellishments that, to go with this and cut them out and used some embellishments to create this pocket letter. I then had this left from the, I think this is from the classified kit for January as well. I added this hello friend here because it's going to be a letter to a friend. And then I just went through all of my goodies that I received from Coco Daisy in the past months and looked through things that I thought she would like. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I included this die cut. I like how it sticks out here. I included this glitter washi because I already have that color. And then I used, I took out some of the beautiful uh, pocket cards from the Day in the Life kit, um, pocket memory keeping kit. Those two are from the January kit. Those two are from the uh, February kit. And then I just tuck it in here. And I love the, the black and white that it adds here. But then I really love this card. I cut it down a bit. It was four by six, but since she's not a scrapbooker, it doesn't really matter. So I just adjusted the height so that it would be uh, the same height as the stationary paper that I created. I then added in those two heart doilies and this die cut, it's a bookmark and I think she loves reading. So I added this here and I also, again, I really like how this sticks out here. So let's put it back in. Then I just took some lined paper that is, it's Japanese, it's from Daiso. And I really love the feel and texture of the paper. And this is um, where I'm going to place, write my letter on. And then I just stamped this beautiful ornament in different uh, ink colors three times. So I make I make her I made her three stationary papers because she is a letter writer. So and I think she will like having this. So that's this these two pockets. So the next pocket here. This one is leftover die cuts and die cuts that I liked and thought she might like from the January and February memory keeping kits. This ribbon was in the January kit and that's again, that's packaging. I just took out the card that was in there, traced it on some leftover scrapbooking paper and then included the die cuts and created my own little die cut pack. And I like that there is this ribbon so she can pull it out better. This was included in the classified kit. I just thought that I could share one with her. Then I used, again, packaging uh, and included some sequins that came in the memory keeping kit as well as a flare button. This is the peacock, I think. And then I created a washi tape holder using a cable car ticket. This is a leftover piece that I have that I took off a bookmark that because I didn't like this hanging off and so I reused it and then I just added the washi tapes that came in the planner and scrapbooking kits in the past months so she could have samples of those. Then I also failed to use this beautiful hard die cut and I thought maybe she'll like that and she'll make something really nice 
using this in one of her letters to her pen pals or maybe she'll use it in her planner I don't know I think she'll like it and so I included this and this was is a partial set of um, enamel shapes I just uh, used Again, reuse some packaging. This is part of the packaging. I made another card myself. I cut it down so that it would fit in here and created this packaging. And that's it. This is my pocket letter. The only thing I still have to do is write it. And then it will go out and hope I'll, it'll make her happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this little piece of inf uh, inspiration. Until next time, bye.